Welcome back, friends and neighbors, to the channel. It's been a little while since I posted a video, and I thought I would return to the channel with a new series called The Wonderful World of the IETF RFC. So, let's jump right in. You know, I couldn't think of a better place to start other than RFC 791. So, that's our featured RFC this time. And RFC 791 is, of course, the Internet Protocol. It's sort of the basis upon which all of our networking is is done or handled. I get to all of my RFCs using uh, the search terms tools and then RFC and then whatever I'm going to search for. And the reason I do that is because if you look at the graphic here, uh, that gives you the history of all of the documents related to a particular RFC. And the URL actually includes tools right in it. So that's my advice to you. So when you look at this RFC, you can see that it dates from 1981. So that's quite a while ago, nearly 40 years. It sort of dates all the way back to the beginning of all this stuff, which sort of makes sense given that it is IP version 4. And um, it is a low numbered RFC too. You can see up at the top of this this image here, there are thousands and thousands of RFT, uh, or RFCs at this point. Hey, and, and take a look who funded this thing. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. And it's still a thing. You can still go out to the DARPA site. They have funding, they have projects, and all kinds of good stuff out there. Now, just uh, for fun, a little couple of highlights. That's what we'll do with all of these RFCs. We'll hit some of the fun points of it. Now, RFCs, I'm never going to tell you that RFCs make for riveting reading. It's not something you want to read if you're going to stay up at night. But there are a couple of good sections to read in almost every single RFC. And that's these very first ones that tell you a little bit about why the RFC exists and what it is talking about. So here's a couple of fun excerpts. We'll do this every time as well. So the Internet Protocol is designed for use in an interconnected systems of packet switch commu computer communication networks. Uh, for those of you that haven't been doing networking for a long, long time, uh, a router is actually a packet switch. So we think of IP packets being forwarded by a device. Uh, those are packet switched. This is as opposed to being circuit switched. Now, uh, in the, the next bullet, we can see that the uh, Internet Protocol provides for fragmentation and reassembly. So if you look in the IP header, you can see there's an ID, a fragment offset, and then a flags field, and those work together to put together your um, IP datagrams that may have been fragmented. We do this for really, really large chunks of data. And the real problem, of course, is the size of the Ethernet frame or the 802.11 frame, which can't pack a, a really large chunk of data in there. There are two basic functions of, of IP version 4. I keep saying IP version 4 just because now we talk about IP version 6. It's really the Internet Protocol in 791. We've got addressing and fragmentation. And if you look at the header, those are the lion's share of what's going on in the header. Now this, I think the next bullet is one of my favorite. The Internet Protocol does not provide reliable communication. There's no acknowledgments of uh, either end-to-end -end or hop-by-hop. -hop. No error control, no retransmissions, and no flow control. So that sort of tells you that the Internet Protocol is there just to get things from one place to the other, and there is no guarantee. And, of course, this RFC also includes the famous IP version 4 header. It's almost always going to be 20 bytes, so it's recognizable, and the first octet will always be a 4-5, meaning IP version 4, and 5 4-byte words for a total of 20 bytes. We can also see on the second line the identification flags and fragment offset. That's how we put things back together if they are in fact going to be fragmented. The time to live field, which gets rid of circulating packets. And that protocol, the protocol ID, tells us what this particular IP packet is carrying. Well, there we have it. There is our featured RFC this time around, RFC 791, the Internet Protocol. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And may your packets always reach their destinations.